Hey guys, Mike the Gaming Dad here, and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. This is episode 6, and as promised, we are back outside the Boston Common where episode 5 ended. And we ended episode 5 on the trail of two quests, I believe. So, unlikely Valentine, where we need to find someone called Nick, and Road to Freedom. And Road to Freedom, I think, is the quest which starts here isn't it with this robot um undecided whether i'm going to do that just yet i might go and find nick valentine first and then yeah we might come back and do this at a later date uh, what i am going to do at the end of this episode as well is i'll show you sanctuary again because i've been doing some more stuff post episode 5.1 um, but i do want to leave it till the end of the episode because we're going to get straight into this one and what i'm going to do first is if you remember episode 5, we ended after finding this body here, Mikhail, and on him he had a note which referenced, sorry, not referenced, it was written by someone which said, whatever you do, do not enter the Boston Common. And yeah, we, after, episode, after uploading episode 5, I had quite a lot of comments which referenced Boston Common as well, uh, saying things like, I'm not sure he's ready for this, or I hope he goes into Boston Common, this should be good. So yeah, I'm not going to say that it spoiled anything because I I kind of expected something bad went down here anyway, based on the letter and the fact that it was, I mean when we got here the weather was terrible wasn't it, it was really dark and so foggy like we couldn't see, you couldn't see through here, like you couldn't see the buildings or anything around. But yeah, the, the comments have kind of, they've made it pretty obvious that something bad happens here, so... And I was going to enter here before I'd seen any of that, just because I wanted to find out what, what was in here. Um, and I don't want the comments to influence my decision. If that That's basically what I'm saying, is that I'm not going to... I'm not going to let that... Let what I've read make me... Uh, not go in here or choose not to go in here so yeah this could either be very brave or very stupid or both but yeah wish me luck <laughs> so let's see what's uh let's see what this is about yeah it's a lot better in here now isn't it i mean i can actually see i couldn't see any of these buildings last time it's a lot uh it's a lot smaller than i was expecting I don't know, just with all the fog around and not being able to see anything, I just expected this to be some quite large open space, but yeah, it is smaller. Let's see what we've got around. What's this? Park Street Station. Is this going to be another location, I wonder? Yes. Right, we're not going to... I'm not going to go in there just yet. We'll explore this. Yeah, explore the Boston Common first. What's this here? Oh, dog meat found something. Oh, now we've got radiation barrels. What's dog meat found? Oh, he's found a pistol. Okay. Is there anything else up there? Oh, Swan's Pond. Is that what this is? Oh yeah, this is a boating lake, isn't it? What is that? It's like a... Look, looks look like one of the, uh, the Swan boats that's on its side. We got here on our radi yeah I'm gonna get radiation if I go up there ah there's a lot of something there though oh yeah excellent grognak the barbarian that's good critical hits with an unarmed and melee attacks permanently do five percent damage I think I've got about four of them now God, you get a lot of radiation there, don't you? Is there anything else there? Can't see anything. Yeah, right, right away. Right, what have we got 
here. Can't see anything around here. Oh, Raider. Dead Raider. What's this torn note? Uh, no, I need to be a main room for what am I doing? Miscellaneous. Torn note. It's no joke, Kath. He's out there. I've seen him. Tore Davies' head clean off. Boy never even got his gun out. Give it up, girl. Like you's got a future with us. Don't throw it all away on some fool there. Okay. she came here to kill whatever was here and yeah met an, an unfortunate end like someone else, like a few people it seems like that thing is creeping me out, whatever it is it it's like a collection of garbage Oh my god. Right arm, head. Whoa, look at the size of those feet. Oh my god, is this what? Swan. I've just, oh, I've just noticed, yeah, a skull next to his name. This must be what? has killed these people. Uh, okay. If you approach it, does it come out? It says I've been detected. Doesn't appear to be doing anything. Alright, okay. Let's uh, think about this strategically. That thing's going to come out at me. Let's lay some mines. Now I want to get out of the way, dog meat. It's going to be explosions soon. Where am I going to go? Let's run down here. Alright, this might be the stupidest thing ever, but... We're going to shoot it. Oh my god. What is that? Oh, and it can throw missiles. Brilliant. No, 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 no. Oh god, it's accurate with those. Wicked fast as well. is it? Seem to like fire. No, that wasn't very clever. Just hit the fence. It doesn't like fire. God, he's so accurate with his uh, with those things he throws. I 
ourselves a wedge there. Uh, no, no, no. A giant game of cat and mouse, this. Which way are you going? Pick a, pick a way, come on. <laughs> No, too close. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> I've just seen that sign. Danger Swan. Yeah, now you say. Oh, that came through the wall then. Doesn't like fire. She's good. Should we try him? Oh no! It's so annoying that those things come through the wall. Let's try him with some grenades. What we got there. More, more red dots. I don't like that. I'm boxed in here. This isn't good. got some super mutants it looks like shooting us as well one done can't see where the shooting is from through there yeah where's swan are we still there Explosions seem to be hurting him, which is good. Right, swan's down. down. Super Mutant's done as well. That wasn't ideal, having a getting attacked from both sides. Let's go and investigate Swan. Furious Power Fist. One three oh eight round. What's he got? Trifold American flag. He might be a oh my god. Look at the size of it. Yeah, he might be a super mutant, but he's still a patriot. <laughs> right, let's see what this is. Furious Power Fist. Wow, increased damage after each consecutive hit on the same target. Is that like a handheld weapon? Current mods puncturing. Oh my god, we've got to try this out. Swan boat frag fragments. I guess that's his uh, what he had on his back. Ugh. Ugly. 
You've got some bad, bad uh, dentures, my friend. Right, is there anything else around here before we move on? I'm assuming that's this section done now, then there's not going to be another one. I don't really want to go in the water. More radiation around here. It's not, not ideal. What have we got? Experiment log. What was that? Day one. Edgar Swan. So I'm nipped to... So I nipped a few cigs, big deal. Smart asses may run this place, but they can't, they can't just do whatever they want. I got rights. Trial worked out for me in the end. They agreed to probation. I stay inside for a month, write something every day, and they'll bring me all the food and water I want. They think this is a punishment. Sure beats scrubbing floors all day. Day six. Edgar Swan, day six. Should have known something was wrong when they came back for more tests. Every bone in my body aches. I'm on edge all the time, jittery. Can barely write, but my mind's just racing. Damn it, what's going on? What they do to me? Day 14. My physiological evolution seems to have stabilised. The medical team says my muscle mass has more than tripled since the experiment began and my neural efficiency has improved markedly. This particular strain of modified FEV has been a remarkable success. I appear to have received all of the anticipated benefits without the typical adverse effects. My application to join the research team is awaiting the director's approval, although further tests may be in order. I hope to be able to assist with my own experiment in the coming days. Dog meat, can you get out of the way? Picking up rads like crazily here. You are swan. that everything here I'm assuming can't see any more notes or anything I need to get away from this all this radiation that is a crippling groundskeeper's log seriously this is getting freaking ridiculous merging the common and public garden was jagged enough to tell this law but I went along with it what I'm gonna fight the developers how much smaller can they really make the swan pond? We get boats crashing into each other every day. It's like a glorified puddle. But what do I know, right? I'm just the groundskeeper of the world's smallest grounds. Might as well stay home from now on. My garden's bigger than this. At least I get to eat the peppers and cucumbers. Not watch tourists cry in disappointment. I must have been pre, uh, yeah, pre... Pretty fallout. I can't believe how much damage that uh, going in there has given me. I think that was uh, what I found was worth it. I didn't really look at what was in that uh, steamer trunk. I just grabbed it all. So yeah, Swan. It sounds like he was part of a. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, I thought that was something else to pick up. Yeah, I thought we. Uh, sorry, what yeah, I was saying, it sounds like he was part of a experiment and they, they gave him the same virus, I think, that the super mutants have got. Um, and he was, they were testing on him and then it sounded like it was going well, but then I'm assuming it maybe went very, very wrong for him. And he was, uh, yeah, he ended up coming here and becoming Swan. Uh, well, yeah, we successfully navigated it anyway. So, I think what we're going to do now is, uh, I'm going to go back to the Molotovs. I want to try out this Furious Power Fist as well. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do Unlikely Valentine. So yeah, Road to Freedom can wait for now. 
and unlikely Valentine. Oh, unlikely Valentine is down here, so. God, look at this weapon. <laughs> oh, that is a. Uh, ouch. That's going to shatter a few limbs. Park Street Station. Two people talking, it sounds like. We caught that detective snooping around him. What does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. Alright, we've definitely got more than one. So what I'm going to do is... Let's favourite this. And... I'm going to flick back to a weapon... I do want to kill one of them with it, but for now let's uh, yeah try and at least take the other out. I'm not liking these numbers. Let's try and take his leg off. Right, he's gone. Oh no, there's three. Now there's two. See if we can get them down to one and I'll kill the other one with that fist. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Right, that should be three of them down. Where is the other one? <laughs> oh my god. That is brutal. Brutal but effective. Yeah, you did not have a good day, my friend, did you? Take all your weapons. Gonna leave all the clothes. Ooh. I did wonder whether I'd shot your head off. If we got around here. Well, then we'll take you, because we can use you to make... Uh, Oh, it's not bourbon, is it? It's whiskey that you need to make. Is it berry mentats or grape mentats? Can't remember which one. Subway token. I seem to be collecting a lot of them, but... I've not found a use for them yet. I'm assuming they'll be useful down here. Terminal. Transit personnel only. Purchase tickets. Function terminated, unsurprising. I don't think there's going to be any trains running. Uh, terminal shut down. The purchasing of subway tokens for the station will automatically cease on the 2nd of November. Well, or the 11th of Feb, depending on which way it's they've done it. 77 to coincide with the station closing. Any questions should be addressed for the station manager or vault tech representative before your employment termination date. Again, Park Street terminals will cease to validate token dispensations after this date. Previously issued tokens remain usable at all of the Boston subway and monorail service platforms. Thank you. Employee notice. I regret to inform you that your station will be closing due to a purchase agreement with Vault Tech Corporation. As such, we will be going through our records and redistributing our many valued employees to other stations and departments. The automated system should identify your new location. You are being relocated to employee terminated. Thank you, and we look forward to many more years to working with you. Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's. 
Nice. I've actually been through a few uh, redundancies at, yeah, in my work life, and yeah, it, <laughs> I can attest that sometimes this sort of thing happens in that, in that sort of, the way that's been dealt with as well. Here you are, here's your brown envelope. Thanks for all your service, goodbye. American flag. We just picked one of them up, didn't we? From Swan. Don't think I can pick this. Ah, oh, we can't get in that one. Damn it. Damn it. Although actually, I think I do have. Yes, I do have a level up. I got a level up at the uh, after I'd finished episode 5.1 and I was doing a bit more building. I leveled up again. So if you've not watched 5.1, we leveled up three times while building around. Um, yeah, sanctuary, and then I got another one off camera. So yeah, we'll do that. And I'm wondering, can I? Where's lockpick again? Yeah, let's do this. And we can pick expert locks. Find out what's in here. Hopefully, it's something good. Oh, dog meat! Can you get out of the way, man? What is it with Bethesda followers and just blocking you in doorways? Hey, over here. Get out of that room. You are not Lydia, my friend. We're in. What have we got? Weapons, ammo, and pre war money. Guess it's not a bad haul. Right. Anything else worth picking up? I'm trying to be selective with what loot I. Um, what junk I pick up and what I don't. Gas canisters weigh a lot. Not sure whether they do or not. Yes, they do. Weight three. Well, you do get. Uh, oh, that's, sorry, gas canisters. Yeah, there. So they you only get steel and then oil from them. They do weigh a lot. Fiberglass is better. I don't really want things that just give off steel. So I've got so much of that, although we don't seem to be carrying a great deal, so that's good. It just gives off steel. Imagine putting a grenade in a uh, a grenade trap in a toilet. Let's go through here. And it looks like we've got some Nuka Cola Quantums. I'll take you. See you later, Trigger Man. Come out. Do it, do it. 
Right, they are all the way over there. In that button, wrong button. Is the third one down. God, there's loads in there. It was with so many down here. This isn't good. We have a tr we have a critical shot again. Criticals up to now. I can be honest, I didn't even really, really noticed it was there, but someone prompted me about it, and yeah, now that now that I know that it's there, I'm getting much better at it. So, all of them done. feel much more comfortable with a rifle now. I think rifle's going to be primary weapon, pistols and everything else. Pistols, shotguns, probably secondary. Machine guns I might end up binning off eventually. Not really using them that much. I need to have a proper scour around this area. It seems quite... But yeah. Oh, there might be lots of loot hidden around, so... Let's make sure I'm thorough. Overdue book. Someone said in the comments you can uh, you can take those back to a library, I believe. I don't know whether there's any any point in doing that, but I think I've already got a few of them. to give dog meat some weapons, I think. Hey. I think that's better than ours, isn't it? Compensated hardened piercing submachine gun. And we've got armor piercing submachine gun. So the range on that one is better, accuracy is worse, um, and yeah, range better, but accuracy and damage is worse than that.
give it dog meat for now. bottle and a radix. Is that all? What oh, have we got through there? That was a bit silly of me. Far more harder than it should have been. Oh, I forgot here. Is that just. Oh, was that a tripwire that I just set off? I think it was. I can see that. Hunting rifle. Oh, I think did I trip that and then that would have that was wide up to this and it would have shot me I don't know wasn't really paying attention we can get in the safe thanks to our new perk Just a, just a hideaway, nothing to read, no, uh, no other things to look at. Assuming that was the this person's hideaway, maybe. They were down here. Ah, there's one here as well, body. I think we pretty much exhausted everything in this in this area now so stew pot what's that take it and inspect it anyway yeah I think we need to go down here Coca-Cola Quantum, I can see. rats assuming I'm going to come across more enemies in here dog meat get out of the way Spotted. 
Oh, shot dog me in the face then. Love that crit bar again. Where are they? Show yourselves. Gun use again. I'm gonna have to buy some more. I think I'm flying through it. Where is it? 308. I need to remember that. Ah, another mining helmet. Yes. Do you want mining helmets to kit out my settlers? Is this a door? Yes. Right, what's in here? Does this just lead you back out? Back bay. Right, well, might look at that later for now. Let's keep going forward. this trigger man is but there's body bits everywhere ah there we are he's missing an arm nice all right looks like we need to go into a vault vault 114 Ah, here's the controls. Find in here, I wonder. When they open the door. Why is that thing so loud? Hello? That you Ooh. Who's there? Who's this gonna be? Ah, is this gonna be that gang? Yeah, trigger men. Oh no, we I think we missed. Just with both our shots then. going hand to hand. Ooh. Let's do this properly. No, oh, no, I don't want his baseball bat.
Preserved cigarette pack. Rad away. Medex. Right, vault tech terminal. Let's read this. Welcome, employees. Greetings. After many months of preliminary construction, we are pleased to welcome members of the technical and scientific staff to the newest addition to the vault tech family, Vault 114. Like you, we are excited to get started on our latest endeavour, but we are not quite ready to open the, that great big gear door to our new residence yet. As you've probably noticed, we've contracted outside of vault tech for construction on, the, on this one since it is utilising a unique space. By repurposing the form at Park Street Subway Station, we'll be seeing a decrease in building costs, as well as a shorter timeline for construction. This fits perfectly with the vault's observational studies, which will be revealed in a future memorandum. However, because of this, we'll be seeing a lot of civilian traffic until construction is fully completed. It is up to you to help maintain the security of Vault 114 and its experiment from prying eyes without proper clearance. Loose lips sink ships, of course. They also result in immediate termination and possible criminal investigations. Welcome once again, vault Tech Management. Uh, private science staff only. This memorandum is meant for members of the Vault 114 Science Division only, or those with appropriate security clearance levels. All others must exit this terminal immediately and report your infraction to the Overseer or a member of Vault Tech Security. Thank you. Social Science Division, as mentioned in your briefing, Vault 114 will be hosting high ranking members of local and state government, local luminaries, business people, and their families. Future members are aware that they will be cohabitate, cohabitating solely with others of Boston's upper class. However, the luxury aspect of this vault has been highly exaggerated to the future residents. Multiple families chosen randomly will live, in sl live and sleep in single room apartments. Dining and bathing will be in shared quarters and amenities will be minimal. In addition, we are currently interviewing for the overseer position from many candidates. Our goal is to find someone with no supervisory or government experience and hopefully with a strong anti-authority bias. Human Resources tells us that the interview process has vetted many viable candidates. By taking away the luxury and authority these groups saw in surface life, we hope to study their reactions in stressful situations. As such, please do not undermine the new overseer's authority at all during the experiment, even and especially if it may cause physical discomfort, embarrassment or harm to residents. Thank you. God, they're... Vault Tech were real assholes, weren't they? I mean, the vault we were in, they were basically they were f cryogenically freezing us, weren't they? But this one was just a big social experiment to see how the this class of people dealt uh, dealt with their new conditions. I wonder what all the other vaults were like. I'm going to assume some of them had rather sick uh, Vault One One Four jumpsuit added. I wonder if that's a different colour. Yeah, I'm going to assume that some of them were... Yeah, had quite sick experiments going on in them. 5, 10, 1, 20. What's ours? Where is our vault tech suit? Oh, we, we upgraded and we insulated it, yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll keep ours on. Yeah, they really were assholes, Vault Tech. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Better one on payroll. Um, 
down. I do enjoy the sort of gangster look that these lot are repping. Trilbies, pinstripe suits. crit yet we're close to a crit I don't want to wait for the head and miss so there we go right we should have a crit now which we can use he's dead oh god we're getting a bit of a batter in there aren't we Aim for your head. Nice. Look at that. YouTube, please do not demonetize my video for excess gore. Thank you. I keep I keep uh, pressing the wrong trigger. <laughs> Dog me, get him. Kill him, dog meat. Come on, dog meat. Oh, you are you are useless, honestly. He does so little damage, doesn't he? Bless him in his in his goggles. Shooting me. It's you over there. Oh, wow. Nice. I've got one more. It's underneath. Further down, where this, uh, where he is. Let's go and uh, check all the bodies anyway. mining helmets around. I don't know where this uh, last uh, guy is. Ah, here we are. There's one. I assume he's probably in there, so...
that dog meat we're carrying hey. too much. Can we give you any more? You can't carry anymore. We are pretty close, aren't we? So we might have to start getting rid of stuff, but we are, we've got so many weapons. We have so much stuff we can, uh, yeah, get rid of. Guess it was nothing after all. Wait, the hell? Where is he down here? Cut. There we go. We got him. Voltec terminal here. Let's see what this one says. Welcome employees. Was it going to say the same information? Yeah, it is. Doesn't want to be any, anything new on that one. Right, we're full again. So. Not seeing any where we can break anything down any workbenches so I might just drop things that are not going to be of value to me what weapons give the least bang for your buck hunting rifles values much lower than what the machine guns are so let's get rid of that Get rid of the. Yeah, I don't need any more leathers actually. I'll drop them. Right, here we are, Vault 114. found this guy yeah like how deep have they taken him how you doing in there Valentine feeling hungry Talking, Dino. Oh no, did we miss? 85% chance to hit and we missed. <laughs> there we go, we got him then. Should just go should go freehand, shouldn't I? Manual drive. Is he the only enemy? There we go. Dino is no more. I'm going to leave the submachine gun because I cannot physically carry any more. here. Don't want them because I think they'll just contain steel which we don't need. Take the light bulb, they're always useful. Can we get down to the ground floor? Where are the stairs? see any stairs unless that's what this is. 
Yeah. Don't want to play Nuka Cola. the way out I'm wondering. I thought this might just be the kitchenette area downstairs but I don't want to be leaving because we need to go and lock we need to go and unlock the Yeah this looks like it could be potentially a way out. So I think what we need to do is Yeah go and let let the Nick Valentine out and maybe come down here to get out. To... You gotta hack that terminal to open up this door. Where's ah this terminal here? Password required. Okay. Please take a number. Uh, I need to. Do I need to read what he gave me first? Overseer door password. Do I need to put it in? Uh, please take a number. Your number is 998. Okay, maybe not. Override door controls. Opening door. Gonna work. Ah, yeah, there we go. Oh god. Oh he's a cyborg. Haha, <laughs> my knight in shining armor. The question is, why does he come all this way? Risk life and limb. An old private eye. What are you? Whoa. What... What are you? Told you. I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. Finding Sean. My son, Sean, is missing. He was kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man. If not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. 
Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Right, Nick Valentine. Found him. Is there anything else in here? Oh, yes. Bobblehead. Speech. Perfect. All vendors permanently have a hundred more caps for bartering. Got a couple of interviews as well. Nice vase. we we'll take that. Right, so the only other thing in here, these interview tapes, there's three of them, and a terminal. Let's see what's on the terminal. Welcome employees. Greetings Overseer, I hope this message finds you well and your moving to your new position has been an easy transition. Your appointment as Overseer came with high recommendations from our interviewers and we hope you will be the perfect fit that everyone believes you to be. Please do not be nervous as we have chosen you based on your natural qualities, decision making skills and unique personality. We believe that you possess innate abilities as a leader that will bring this fall into the new world nuclear war creates. So don't worry, just go with your gut and everything will work perfectly. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Right, what are all these uh, interviews? So we've got 87, 3 and 21. Voltec interview number 03 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Mr. Beasley, as overseer of Vault 114, how would you settle a disagreement between two of your vault residents? Well, I would obviously take it through the proper channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. Got it. Well, yes, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve the... Yes, I think we have everything we need here. Thank you for your time. Oh, already? Well, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yes, I'm sure you will. Please make sure to fill out your non-disclosure agreement on your way out. Hey, Dino! Quick! Uh, right, so we've listened to one of them. Resonance Sounds like we may be getting company, so I'll listen to the other two after that. I should have used the other shot. I thought the first shot was going to kill him. Not mean to move the trigger then. Oh, one time, man, out of the way. So let's listen to the second one now as well. Let's take a nuka caller as well. I don't think I've used one of them yet. Where was it? Interview. So what, interview number three clearly wasn't what they were looking for because he sounded like someone who would go straight to, yeah. Go through the proper channels, I think he said, which is, yeah, that pretty much ended the interview straight away, doesn't it? So let's listen to number two. 21, sorry. This is Vault Tech interview number 21 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. Interview sub. 
subject. Kimberly Weiss. Hello, Mrs. Weiss. How do you do? And may I just say what an honor it is? Hey, Valentine. My goodness. What? Looks like we're out of time. Just started. Yes, yes. Thank you. If you could just send the next candidate in as you Oh, uh, of course. Uh, did I mention I was head of my debate team? I'm sure you did. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, that was quick. <laughs> Alright, let's play the last one. Number 87. I'm assuming this may be the, uh, the candidate they were looking for. This is Vault Tech interview number 87 for the position of Overseer for Vault 114. The candidate has refused to give his real name and has only provided the name the Soup Can Harry. Soup Can That's Harry. Right. I ain't telling you nothing. My name is the name I call myself, not the rank and number the government brands on me. No, sir. <coughs> Fascinating. Mr. Uh, Soup Can, would you mind telling me why you're successful in the government? I've seen what they do. They gum up the works with red tape and bureaucracy, take every hard earned cent and use it to fund their Illuminati, Freemason sex party. I'm a free man. I should be able to live as I see fit. My taxes pay for them streets and alleys and dumpsters. I'll sleep where I want. Sir, according to this, you haven't paid taxes in many years. No, we'll get this when this is finished. I've seen the back of them Abraxo boxes. Not for consumption? Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. God, this guy sounds unhinged. You may just be the perfect kid. How would you like to be the new overseer for Vault 1? I ain't wearing no goddamn tie. Or pants. <laughs> he is completely unhinged. Right, let's go back and get the, uh, this. Astoundingly awesome tales. There we go. Five action points. Nice. I don't want to pick anything else up. Ah, a brat so clean. It was that what Harry was, uh, eating. Legendary Triggerman. Ooh. Alright, whiskey. Yeah, we'll have that because we can use that to make those special mentats. You scratch one off the list. Ran off. Salisbury steak. Unrusted tin can. Got all this stuff in here is like properly preserved, isn't it? Shame we can't carry it all. Fitness instructor. I just realised the voice as well. That's the same, yeah, voice actor that plays has played a number of char characters in Bethesda games. I'm thinking of the yeah storekeeper in White Run. What's he called? Bellathor. One who's always trying to sell his sister. Wait. 
legendary enemies mutated. Oh god, this guy looks hard, looks uh, tough. God, what is that weapon he's shooting? It's like spraying acid. more of this I can pick up. I'll take stim packs though, 100%. Because they don't weigh anything. Good luck to them with, you know, the whole... Yes. What have we got here? A tuxedo. I'm well, having that. Oh no, a master safe. Locks really strong. Damn it. Alright, what was this weapon that he was using? Plasma infused hardened automatic pipe weapon, right? We need to get the We need to get that uh, mod modification off there. to drop something so let's drop some of these submachine guns I'm carrying they weigh a lot so much whiskey Empty whiskey bottles. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. More jumpsuits. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Oh, we're going out into the station, aren't we? Right, okay. We might need to, uh, what weapon should we use? Maybe a machine gun. I don't really like using the machine guns, but... What are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is going to set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing game, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. A shame you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to death, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. Should we use some drugs for this fight, I'm wondering? I feel like at some point it's it's uh, things are gonna go south. Slows time for 15 seconds. Damage resist. Max AP. More damage. Psycho buff. Strength endurance. Max HP. Yeah, maybe we'll use one of these when the time comes. What do we think? Maybe we'll do 
Oh, I don't know. Decisions. <laughs> we'll go with Psycho Buff to begin with. There's plenty of time to use both of them. I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! Then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him home. <laughs> Encourage violence. Convince her to leave. Oh, no. I've not equipped my... Can I equip? Yes, right. So, what we need... Although I don't really want to be in this when we go into the fight, so... I want black rim glasses, clean black suit, without carrying too much to run, and trilby hat. Anything else which improves? Excel, but wow, I mean, look at that. What else improves charisma? Grape Mentats by five. Do I really want to use that just for this, though? I don't know. No, for now, we'll just go with what we're wearing. Uh, right, convince her to leave. Let's try that. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. I... I... You're right! What am I doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla! Where... Where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men? Now you and your friend cost me my girl? My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. You smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. Alright, let's get out of here now then. Maybe we can avoid... Avoid uh, fighting. Better get out of here fast. One. assuming you can choose to stay and fight there but maybe yeah I'm learning in this game that all decisions have consequences so I may live to regret not shooting him there or it might have been the right thing to do I guess for now I'm not going to know that oh he's going up this way Ah, yeah, the one that I didn't exit earlier. It's right, back bay. Look at that Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Uh, Ellie. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. Yeah, no worries. Meet you there. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. There we go. Completed Unlikely Valentine. 
and we have leveled up, so... Alright, what should we go for now? So what have we got so far then? So we've got Toughness, Rifleman, Locksmith, two levels into Locksmith, Aqua Boy, one level into Local Leader, I could get the second level, so we can build stores and workshops. We've got one in, one in Lone Wanderer, one in Life Giver. I wasted my very first point in Vans, don't know what I was doing there. Medic, Gun Nut, Hacker and Scrapper. I think the most, the perk that I've seen that comes up the most is Idiot Savant, but I'm a long way off getting that because I didn't really put any perks into Luck, did I? Any points into Luck. I might do... I'm going to do armour, I think, for now. Yeah. Right, so we have another location that we need to go to now, which is... back to Valentine's Detective Agency. There's so many locations around here, isn't there? Boston, so much to do. interesting that we've not cleared Park Street Station but yeah right I think we need to unload all our junk don't we so what I might do actually because I was I was struggling with my carry weight and not my carry weight with my build limit in Sanctuary so I might just go back there quickly drop all the weapons off and yeah, the, uh, someone showed me a tip basically, told me a tip on YouTube where you can drop weapons, scrap them and it lowers your build limit, which was a, a massive saviour because I was I was contemplating knocking down some of the stuff that I'd built and, and rebuilding, so yeah, luckily that comment stopped me doing that, so that was good. So I think, yeah, we'll do that. And then I can show you what I've done here and then we'll go back down to Diamond City. Right, dog meat. Heads up. Let's trade. Can't even remember what I actually gave you. Is it mainly weapons? One meat, a combat knife. Yeah, all this weapons, water. Oh, I did. I gave you some uh, drugs and things as well that I've been finding. We're not gonna make very good time with so, so what I want to do first is I need to. Weapons that have got, in fact, weapons that I know I'm not going to keep, like stuff that's just pretty basic. I'll, I'll get rid of that now, and then weapons that may have interesting mods on them. Let's, yeah, check what those are and then maybe keep them. So I can get rid of uh, all of this junk. Uh, yeah, store all of that junk. Which, what have I just done? I've just taken it out. I don't know, that was clever. Yeah, store it all. And, yeah, now I want to... Uh, I can't actually do it in the workshop, can I? I need to do it in this. Right, stuff I want to... No, I want to get rid of. Auto pistols can go. All of these. Compensated armor piercing 10 mil auto pistol. I might look at that and see what that is that that's got. Compensated hardened pistol. Pipe pistol couldn't go. machine guns. There was one machine gun that was better than mine. This one compensated hardened piercing submachine gun so I think I'm using that one. I 
think we'll keep this one and get rid of that. There we go. Alright, so I need to check these two out. And yeah, there's this plasma infused hardened automatic pipe pistol. There we go. Right, let's scrap these. Get that build limit down. There we go. Our little sanctuary right. revival project. Let's go see what the bees have got on them. So mine has on it my pistol. Powerful receiver, a long light ported barrel, sharpshooter's grip, a large mag, and a reflex sight. So what do these have on them? Armor piercing, and mine's got powerful. So that mine's better, isn't it? Basically. It's got a long light barrel, which mine has, comfort grip, which I think What's mine's better. On? Yep, sharpshooters, quick eject mag. Mine's got a large magazine. Which I'm fine with. Reflex sight, a compensator. Some days are harder than others. But even the hard days get easier than There's not really anything on that that I'm interested in that's better, that's going to improve mine. I'm not bothered for a compensator on it, so I think we can get rid of that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to keep any of those mods. What about the hardened? What do you hardened mean? is still not as good as my powerful one. Long barrel. I've got a long light barrel. Yeah, we can get rid of them. Right, pipe rifles. So the one I'm using has armor piercing automatic, long port ported barrel, standard stock, glow sights, and a muzzle brake. What's this one? So it's got a powerful receiver on it, but it's more the automatic one that I'm interested in which I think is what I've got isn't it yeah I'm, I've got armor piercing automatic hardened is better isn't it but I don't actually have that okay What else have we got on it? Long ported barrel, which is the same as what I've got, I think. Yeah. Recoil compensated stock. Is that better than mine? I've just got a standard, yes. So let's put a standard grip on that. And then... the recoil compensated stock we can attach that to mine there we go anything else on this glow sights, large bayonet not interested in any of that and then yeah we've got this plasma infused hardened automatic pipe rifle it's got a reflex sight on it I might take off. Or do I want to take it off? Do I just want to leave it on this. 
Yeah, I think we're going to leave this. I don't want to mess with this because I'm not sure the plasma infused. I don't know where that's coming from. I've never come across one of these weapons before, so I don't know where that's... Whether you can... I'm, not, I'm going to assume maybe can you not take that off and put it on something else. I'll try to make uh, myself useful. When you find a legendary weapon, that's just it. It's no just... That's just the weapon. Sorry for himself. Huh. Yeah, right, okay. That'll do. So, let's get rid of that, that, and that. anything in here. Purified water. So much purified water. I need to sell some of that when uh, Trash Can Carla comes to town. She normally comes around, so... Um, and then in here... drop off uh, for now we'll drop off my drop off all these jets psycho Razor grain, tarberries can go in there because of that we we use all this for crafting. Whiskey. Bourbon can go in. Yep. Yeah. And then in here. Let's chuck in the Brahmin meat. Carrots can go in there. Corn. Goods. Melons. This is all must be coming off the uh, the farm. So I was not carrying all this earlier, I don't think. Mole rat meat. There we go. Right. So, I'll show you what we've done, been doing. So, first things first. I've not bothered adding lights across here. I'll do that at a later time. While I'm still building, I thought there's probably not much point. Um, and obviously, they, it looked like they use power as well. And power, I want to reserve mainly for water production at the minute. So, because yeah, I, I can't use the fusion generators yet. I can only use uh, the fuel ones, which don't give out as much power. So, uh, yeah. Uh, first things first, the greenhouse is now has power to it and it's all filled in so uh, we've got our potatoes some potatoes down here mainly all corn and then upstairs we've got mainly muck fruit more potatoes I've basically got there's 18 plots of land here I've given six to each so there's three three potatoes below and here six muck fruit and then six corn downstairs I was having a nightmare planting these. Like some of these just would not go in, and I was having to like twist them all kind of ways, but managed to get there eventually. And then upstairs, I've started to uh, add decorations in here, but not much, just basic for now. I'm, I'm still a work in progress, but yeah. And then up here's everything else: carrots, melons, gourds, whatnot. So yeah, quite pleased with this anyway. This uh. The greenhouse. Um, I've done nothing with that house over there yet. The one that I re-roofed and floored. Um, but in here. I've started to. Add decoration and power. And things in. Again still a bit of a work in progress. But it's. Uh, yeah it's getting there. 
But the upstairs is more the interesting bit. That's like the the lounge pad, if you want to call it that. Oh, I don't know. How have you got stuck up there? I don't know. Another issue with roofs. I'm going to have to get you down. I've had so many issues with the roofs in here. I had like, at one point on the one, the roof over here, I had uh, one of those two-headed cows and one of the settlers were both on there. And obviously we've, we've already had Mama Murphy in that up there as well, so I don't really know what's going on with the with the roofs, but I believe this is a common issue with settlers getting stuck. Uh, so yeah, again, I've started kitting this area out. There's still lots I need to add in here, but it's, um, yeah, it's coming along. I will flesh it out more. But yeah, we're getting there. And then, yeah, again, upstairs. Started adding furniture up here as well, so it will look good when it's finished. Yeah, so what else I've been doing is I have hidden all my power away in here uh, with some turrets. Um, I was messing around with trying to work out how switches and power work so I managed to get it to work so yeah I've just built these in here I don't know why they look like the wet oh that's because I've not built a, a proper a proper ceiling I thought I'd enclose this in full concrete so but yeah yeah so that is wired through the wall and then the, I have got a wire that I couldn't quite get it so this disappeared but it runs all the way under to the back here and then it's powered to those in there so I tried to hide them as best I could um, and then the other thing that I've done is I've started to build more water towers which I'll just show you which I've hidden behind back here So these are here, so I've got, yeah, three there. Oh no, another one here, yeah. I've still got the pole still in the floor from when I uh, fixed that in. So yeah, those are all wired up through the floor. But yeah, I'd reached my max build limit at this point, and I was like, how, how is it maxed already? But yeah, thankfully, yeah, that comment helped me out a lot. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sleep and hope that Trash Can Carla shows up. And then we can sell off some of our water. Oh, I can hear gunshots. Oh, maybe I'm hearing things. I thought we were being attacked then. But yeah, yeah. Trash Can Carla is now here. Hey, Carla. Back again? Time to do business? Yes. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to do... Let's equip our Charisma <clears throat> outfits because I always forget to do this. Go. I've got a few minutes to browse. You break it, you buy it. So I want, I want all these 308 rounds because we were blasting through them. And we also want, is there anything she's got that's interesting? No, I think we're good. Right, so then now let's sell you purified water. 
Uh, do we want to give you all of it? I don't want to save some back for making things. I'm, I'm going to make more out of it. I'm going to make so much, so. Yeah, there we go. Pleasure doing business with you. Alright, where are my settlers? Because there's one. I've got mining helmet helmets to distribute. I should have done more. I hope those raiders pay for what they've done. Can we trade a few things? Please, just... There we go. That's one. I, I need to be alone right now. Oh, there's one here. Who's this? Marcy. Let's trade. It's trade even though you're asleep. There we go. Hello, sir. Right, so what we're going to do now is we could go to Valentine's Detective Agency or we could do one of the other many quests that we've got so far. So, what I'm thinking is. Why don't we do, because we've had it since episode 2 or 3. Let's do fire support. Listen to military frequency AF95. And we got this near Lexington. So I think that's what we'll do next. And let's just travel. It was near the Corvega assembly plant, wasn't it? So actually, let's go to there. And what I'm going to do, because it's getting super late here, unfortunately, because I do want to keep playing, but yeah, I've got work in a few hours. So I am going to pause this episode here, and yeah, in episode say seven, yeah, seven, the next one, we will investigate the military frequency, and it looks like, looking at the image, we're going to have to fight some... Uh, what they called ghouls it looks like so yeah that should be an interesting mission actually so yeah look forward to doing that um thank you for watching i am mike the gaming dad and i will see you next time